Okay, Matthew, this is Des in the middle, uh, just uh, doing a comments check first of all, so just confirm you can hear me loud and clear. Yep, hear you perfectly clear. And you're loud and clear as well, and uh, control room please. Yep, loud and clear, Des. Thanks, you're loud and clear also. And Alec, in the recording room please. Yeah, Des, you're loud and clear up here, and it's all recording, we're ready to go. Thanks, Alec. Okay, Matthew, we're ready to go, so if you're happy, we'll set up for 2.6G. Uh, I haven't told them in the recording room, uh, in the control room, so they're just doing that now. It'll take a minute or two. Yeah, that's no problem. So, at this G level, um, you should be able to stay nice and relaxed. You're unlikely to notice any visual symptoms. You certainly won't black out. Um, so you can stay nice and relaxed and enjoy the ride. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you at the end and make sure you're still happy to carry on. It's good to know. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, you ready for that? Yep, no problem. Okay, set us up then, please, for 2.6G for 15 seconds. Stand by, 2.6G, 15 seconds. Okay, Matthew, stand by for 2.6G. Okay. Okay, so we'll accelerate in a moment. That's 2.6. That feels a lot stronger than any roller coaster I've ever been on. <laughs> but it's quite bearable. Okay, well done. Cool. It's mildly disorientating, but okay. Alright, did you notice any of that tumbling effect at the end? Yeah, a little bit. It makes, your, it makes my vision sort of go up and down a little bit as, uh, as it decelerates. Yeah, that's right. Some people get it more obviously than that. They actually feel as if the whole gondola is tumbling forwards. Oh, right. No, I kind of felt like I was, uh, like, yeah, like a little bit up and down. I feel like being on a boat in a, in a stormy sea. Okay, so it doesn't sound as if you get it too badly then, really. Some people actually perceive, they, they see that the, the gondola seems to be tumbling forwards with, it, with them in it. It's quite a strong illusion. It was quite a profound effect. It's quite strong. Like, you really feel like you're being pulled towards the ground quite significantly. Yeah, well, you were weighing two, two and a half times what you'd normally weigh when you were uh, sitting in there at the 2.6G. I weigh quite a lot to start with, so that's, that's a big difference. Oh, you look pretty slim to me. <laughs> um, okay, so are you happy to have another go? Yeah, absolutely. All right, if we go up to 3G this time. Sure. So uh, this time you'll weigh three times the, the normal amount uh, at the, the upper G level. It is possible that you might start to notice some slight visual effects at this G level. It's unlikely, actually, but it's possible. So keep looking straight ahead. Just watch out for any visual disturbances once you're at 3G. If you do find you're getting any visual losses, just push into the rudder pedals uh, as firmly as you can, and you should find you push your vision clear. That should be enough just to uh, in increase your blood pressure a little bit and uh, improve the blood flow through your eyes. Okay. Uh, any problems, just shout stop or down or press the stop button. Okay. No. Happy with that? Yep, no worries. Okay, guys, if you'd set us up, please, for 3G, 15 seconds. Stand by, 3G, 15 seconds. Okay, Matthew, stand by, 3G this time. Okay. That's 3G. It's really quite a lot stronger. I have no idea how astronauts and pilots do about 8G. <laughs> well done. That was absolutely fine. Yeah, no loss of vision at all. It was quite, quite a lot stronger. Um, but no, it was absolutely fine. Okay, good. So you didn't notice any visual disturbance? No. And what about the tumbling at the end? Uh, it was a little bit stronger, but still more up and down as opposed to falling forward. Okay, good. So, and did it stop pretty quickly? Yeah, no, it was absolutely fine. No, not feeling sick at all? No. Excellent. Sounds like a good subject here. <laughs> okay, so we'll give you a few seconds, and then would you be happy to go up a bit more? Yeah, sure. Happy to try it. All right, we'll go up to 3.4G next. As long as we're doing these 0.4G steps, nothing sudden or disastrous is going to happen that's going to catch you out. Um, the, the important thing at 3.4G is around about half of people 
will start to get some visual symptoms at 3.4 G. Okay. So there's a reasonable expectation that you might notice something this time. Okay. So uh, the thing to watch out for uh, is loss or dimming of your peripheral vision or some speckling or graying out in the central vision. Okay. Uh, and if you get any of that happening, just push firmly into the rudder pedals, tense up the muscles in your thighs, your bottom and your tummy, and you should be able to push your vision clear. Okay. A little bit of a strain if you need to, but you probably won't have to work that hard. Okay. Does that all make sense? Yep, that makes sense. Yep, to try it. Okay, you ready for 3.4? Sure, yeah. Okay, and keep, just keep your head pushed back against the head box so you don't get your head bobbing forward. Yeah, sure. Okay, set us up please, 3.4G, 15 seconds. Stand by, 3.4G, 15 seconds. Okay, Matthew, stand by, 3.4G this time. Quite a lot stronger. It's 3.4. Vision's still okay. I felt my face being pulled back. <laughs> well done. Brilliant. How did that one go? Again, slightly stronger, no loss of vision as yet, but it's uh, the deceleration was quite a lot stronger. You could really feel it sort of starting to move up and down quite quite significantly. Has it caused you to feel at all sick at all? No. Excellent, good. That's the most important question, really. <laughs> okay, and, and did that uh, sort of up and down thing stop quite quickly? Yeah, fairly quickly. It's about five seconds it sort of dissipated. Yep, good, excellent. It doesn't sound as if you're getting it too strongly, really, which is quite good. No, it's good. I mean, I'm... I'm Probably pushing into the pedals anyway as, as a reaction, I think. Actually, you were because you 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 could see that you're moving up relative to the ejection seat. So uh, you probably moved up about three or four inches during that run, and then as, as the uh, machine decelerated, you sank back down into the seat again. So you probably were pushing against it, which is almost involuntary. Actually, it's very difficult to be subjected to this without wanting to tense up and push into the pedals. Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of pushing you forward, and as it's pushing you down, you're sort of naturally pushing back again. Exactly. That's right. Okay, you happy to have another go? Yeah, I'm more than happy to. All right, so we'll bump up towards uh, 4G now. So we'll go for 3.8. Okay. Uh, again, it's a 0.4G increase. Now that there, there's now a very good chance that you'll start to see some visual symptoms. Not everyone does at this level, but you, you've probably got a 70 or 80% chance of seeing some visual symptoms this time. Okay. So watch out for those, and when you get those, push into the pedals, tense up, do a little strain if you need to, to keep your vision clear. Ready for that? Yeah, sure, ready. Okay, set us up please for 3.8G, 15 seconds. Stand by, 3.8G, 15 seconds. Okay, Matthew, stand by, 3.8 this time. Excellent, well done. Fantastic, there was a slight loss of vision and if you, you're right, if you tense up and push straight into the pedals, it clears right out, which is brilliant. Okay, good. So whereabouts did you notice the loss of vision? Um, I want to say about halfway round, but that doesn't really make any sense, does it? Um, halfway round in terms of time. Uh, yeah, it's sort of a slight whiteness sort of starting to sort of come at the edges of the vision. And if, when I sort of tensed up pushing the pedals, it just kind of cleared away. Fantastic. So if you lift your hands up to the camera just as you did then, and give me an indication of how far in that seemed to come. Um, so sort of it was, uh, my hands are just sort of on the edge of my vision here, so I'd say just about, just a tiny bit, just a fraction around there. Okay, so that's perfect. So you just started to notice a little bit of visual loss. Um, you, in fact, your relaxed G tolerance is, we, we measure it by, the, by, by it coming in a bit further than that, so actually your relaxed G tolerance is probably a little bit higher than 3.8. 
<laughs> uh, and it's good that you know you didn't have to do very much um, to to clear it. Okay, are you happy to go on? Yeah, fine. Right. It feels better than any roller coaster I've ever been on. Excellent. Good. Uh, well, you should start be starting to get the idea now that actually you have to do some work to fight against it. As we, as the G level goes up, it becomes a bit more strenuous, and you have to start to be putting in some effort to to sort of work against it. And and because we're going to go above your relaxed G tolerance now, you have to do some work to keep your vision clear. Because the higher we go, the more that blood is going to going to want to drain out of your eye, uh, and the same applies then to your brain. So. Uh, you need, if you can keep your vision clear, we know you're getting enough blood to your brain. That's the idea. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so what I'd like you to do this time is as the G starts to come on, I want you to start pushing into the rudder pedals and tensing up from the foot upwards. So your calves, thighs, bottom, tummy, and give it a gentle, little gentle strain if you need to to keep your vision clear. So the tensing is probably going to be enough on its own to keep your vision clear, but if you're getting a little bit of visual loss, do a little bit of a strain as well, just to get rid of it and keep your vision clear. Okay. The tummy muscles I have, I will try and use. Okay, excellent. So we'll, we'll go up to 4.2. Right. And um, uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, we'll go up to 4.4, uh, 4. 4, which is um, it's the maximum we can put, give you to, to do. But if we're going to 4.2, we might as well go to 4.4. 4. You're going to have to do some effort, so you might as well go for it from, from the off, really. Okay, no worries. Okay, so we're going to go up to 4.4G. Um, this might be enough if you were completely relaxed to make you pass out. So you must not be completely relaxed. I, I don't feel completely relaxed, so that's fine. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, you ready for that? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Set us up then, please. 4.4G, 15 seconds. Stand by. 4.4G, 15 seconds. Okay, Matthew, stand by 4.4G this time. So as the G comes on, push into those pedals, tense up those muscles, and then give a little strain as well if you need to. Okay. That's 4.4. Yeah, a little bit of vision loss. Quite a lot of vision loss. Just pushing and it's clearing. Yeah, it's cleared up a bit. That's much better. Yeah, now it's nice and clear. We're really being pushed down into the seat, which is great. Oh. Well done. Yeah, that was absolutely fine. That was really interesting. It, it, uh, the vision pushed in a little bit, and it pushed in quite a lot, right down to sort of almost, almost there, and then just by sort of tensing, especially the muscles that seem to be in the, in, in the top half of my legs, pushing those seem to really clear it straight out. Excellent, good. So you've got the idea of what fighting G is all about now, because you can imagine that um, the, the, the fighter pilots, when they come along, they'll get an extra G's worth of protection from a pair of anti-G trousers, but apart from that, it's all effort that gets them up to 9G, just wearing a pair of anti-G trousers. To be honest, that was hard enough work, just t working on tensing uh, your feet and your legs uh, and your tummy just as it was. Doing that as well, and trying to sort of fly a plane or control a, a space shuttle must be really really hard yeah exactly and um and unfortunately this is what happened with the red arrows pilot that died in, in, at bournemouth a couple of years ago in that he was coming in to land he did a six and a half g turn to break to come into land he was relaxing almost certainly and um, perhaps not concentrating as well as he should have done and he got caught out yeah hitting that straight away must be really really painful okay um should we bring you out to the door and let you out yeah sure that'd be brilliant okay well done